Hickok! Hiya, folks. Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's corn pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. When Wild Bill Hickok received an urgent summons from the governor of the New Mexico Territory in Santa Fe, he hit the trail at once, and soon Bill and his fun-loving deputy Jingles were seated in the plush outer office of the governor himself. The surroundings were new to them, and Jingles was uncomfortable. Doggone it, Bill. This chair's too hard, the carpet's too soft, and I'm getting thirsty. Might be a water jug in the hall, Jingles. And get lost in this place looking? <laughs> I told you we should have brought our canteens inside with us. Nothing doing, Jingles. And take off your hat. Take off my hat? Now, what for? There ain't no women folks around. Well, suit yourself. Bill, what's this all about? Now, why would the governor want us to ride clear down here from Kansas? He'll explain that when he's ready to see us. Well, meantime, I'm getting drier than a crawdad on a salt lick. <laughs> well, maybe the governor will help you find a drink. Yeah, he might have a bucket and a gourd around someplace. I'll just look and see. Well, come in, Marshal Hickok. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Not at all, Governor. This is my deputy, Jingles. Uh, it's a pleasure, Jingles. Well, howdy, Governor. Say, I got about 106 miles of thirst. And... <laughs> well, there's a pitcher and glass right on my desk. Here. Well, now, that's what I call real service. Thank you. Sit down, gentlemen. I'll get right to the point. I sent for you for two reasons. First, because I have a dangerous mission. And second... Because you're not so well-known south of here. Well, now, hold on, Governor. There ain't nobody that don't know about Wild Bill Hickok. Uh, granted. However, not so many have actually seen him here. Now, perhaps you'll want to grow a mustache, Mr. Hickok. Pose as ordinary cowhands. And above all, leave your badges behind. No badges? Hold on, Jingles. Oh. Let the Governor go on. I'm sorry my aide in this case, Mr. Pierpont, couldn't be here today. You'll hear from him later. Pierpont. We'll remember that. Now, our problem is an international jewel smuggling ring. The jewels are stolen in the east, eventually finding their way west and down across the border. The Mexican authorities are cooperating with us, but after all, it's our own problem. You want us to uncover the ring, that it? Exactly. The center of operations is Almagordo. Now, some of the gang are known, but our government wants the leader and the entire operation broken up. Go on, Governor. We have an agent working in Almagordo, an excellent operative named Stan Baxter. Now, to cover for his work, he took a job under a man named Ed Gregory at the express office there. Now, Baxter feels that he's being watched, so you'll be on your own from there. Just me and Bill, huh? Yes. Oh. Now, of course, you can refuse, Mr. Hickok. This is out of your territory. Well, what do you say, Jingles? Huh? Oh, I'd just as soon be shot in Almagordo as any other place. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's your answer, Governor. Good. Now, before you leave, we'll supply you with $50,000 worth of diamonds to use as a decoy. 50000 in diamonds? Real ones? We're dealing with smart men, Jingles. Ooh. Now, remember, your first step is to contact Stan Baxter at the express office. And, gentlemen, I needn't warn you that the ring is made up of desperate men. Not just robbers and smugglers, but vicious killers. <laughs> Good afternoon, gents. What can I do for you? Are you Ed Gregory? That's right. You strangers around Almagordo, huh? Oh, we sort of drifted in. You have a man working here named Stan Baxter? Yeah. You friends of his? Oh, we <laughs> throwed a few wingdings with him up in Denver way. <laughs> yeah, I just thought we'd say hello. Well, anybody that's a friend of Stan's is a friend of mine. Uh, he's in the back room. I'll take you. Thanks. Sure will be good to see old Stan again. Hold on. Those shots came from the back room. Let's go. Look, there on the floor. It's Stan Baxter. Oh, there's a rider fogging away outside. We'll never get Stan. him. Stan. Stan, what happened? Who done it? He'll never give you an answer, Mr. Gregory. Stan Baxter's dead. Wild 
Dollar Bill and Jingles are putting on a real show for us, aren't they, partners? I'm putting on a pretty good show myself, digging into this box of corn pops. Now, I want to have a little chat with you young'uns who haven't tasted Kellogg's corn pops yet. Take it from old Panhandle Jim, you're missing some real eating. Kellogg's corn pops are golden hearts of corn, all popped up big and sassy, crisp and crunchy. Yep, and already sweetened for you. And listen, the Kellogg folks knew you'd like corn pops, but they kept right on working so you'd like them even better. And now they're sweeter and crisper than ever before. So eat them right out of the box, just like candy, or for some real chow at breakfast, in a bowl with milk. How's that sound for a treat? I'll stake my favorite saddle you never enjoyed better eating. Now, tomorrow, sure, you'll want to saddle up and ride for the store. Load up on Kellogg's Corn Pop so you'll have plenty around for breakfast and snacks. Now, here's that famous saying that's on every box of Kellogg's Corn Pops. I'm going to ask you to say it with me in a little while. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. Ha <laughs> ha, you said it. Now, let's get back to the show. <laughs> While Bill Hickok and Jingles, covering their true identity, rode to Almogordo to run down the leaders of a jewel smuggling ring. Their contact was a U.S. agent named Stan Baxter. But just before they reached Baxter, he was shot dead. Now Bill and Jingles are camped on the outside of town, planning their next move. Well, Jingles, looks like we're on our own. We're going to have to use those diamonds sooner than we thought. How, Bill? Wander around the gambling houses and offer them for sale. That ought to smoke somebody out. Yeah, and suppose somebody recognizes you. That's a chance we're going to have to take. Bill, listen. I'm not so well known as you are. Why don't I show the diamonds around? I don't like to put you in such a tough spot, partner. Now, you look a here, Wild Bill Hickok. When was I ever afraid? Now, we're both in this, ain't we? Sure we are. Well, maybe it is better your way. You're doggone right it is. Now, here's a handful of diamonds. Good luck, Jingles. <laughs> Same to you, Bill. You know, I got a feeling we're both going to need it. Well, howdy, fellow. Room for both of us? Ah, uh, we met someplace, mister? Not till now. The name's Duke. Well, howdy. Um, the folks call me Slim. <laughs> Slim? You? <laughs> well, I was a scrawny kid. Yeah, sure. I noticed you wasn't playing the tables. Well, I got other business. Like, uh, well, diamonds? Well, now, now, just a minute. How'd you know about them? You've been showing them at every joint in town before you come here to the Honda house. You mind letting me see them? Well, if it's any of your business... It could be. Well, stand over close. Holy jumping Jupiter. <laughs> They're real, in case you're asking, and there's plenty more of them. How many? Oh, 50,000 worth. I might get you 10,000 for them. 10,000? <laughs> I ought to get half what they're worth. They ain't worth nothing if you can't unload them. That joke. Come here. Feller in that back room's calling you. Oh, no. What does he want? Wait here. Take your time, Duke. I'll be here. Romero, what's the big idea? That's an interesting friend that you picked up out there, Duke. Yeah, that dumb cowpoke's got a line on plenty of hot diamonds. I can get them for little or nothing. What'd you bother me for? Because I just got a message from the boss about your dumb cowpoke. Yeah. His name is Jingles. Well, he said it was slim, but what's the difference? Perhaps the name of his partner will bring you to your senses. A United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? Hickok and Jingles were sent here to lay a trap for us. You were taking the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Why, that no good snooper. I'll drill him right where he's standing. Hey, put your gun away, Joe. But Romero... The boss has different ideas. There will still be a trap, but Jingles and Hickok will be in it. And we will have the jewels. Yeah... Yeah, now I'm getting it. <laughs> you should be funny. Getting $50,000 worth of diamonds supplied by the governor himself. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal, Romero? You lead Jingles on. Get him to the hideout. And be sure he has got all the diamonds with him. Just leave that ring tail to me. You back already, Duke? Yeah, you're in luck. 
I can get you what you asked for the diamonds. Half their real value. Well, now that's just fine. You got the money? You don't think I'd carry that kind of dough with me, do you? But if you don't mind coming with me out to camp... Camp? Yeah, meet some of the boys. We could use a smart umbre like you in our gang. Well, now I'm with you. You have the money and I'll have the diamonds. Just get them and meet me at Lone Point, south of town. Pronto. You know, I sure would admire to see your hideout and meet the gang. You will. And I can guarantee you a big reception. Let your horse stay in here. Well, I got to hand it to you, Duke. Picking a hideout on a cliff like this? Dark, ain't it? Watch the ledge now. <laughs> kind of spooky, ain't it? Hey, hey, there's a light. Right ahead, inside that cave. Hey, now, wait a minute. I said get in there. Hey! Bueno. Bueno, what you doing? Keep him mm-hmm. covered. Uh, just a darn minute. What's going on here? He's all yours, Romero. Signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs> oh, you the big boss here, Romero? <laughs> At this end, Jingles. Now you will hand over the diamonds. Well, huh? not till I see the money. Hey, how'd you know my name was Jingles? Yeah, we know that and much more. That you are a deputy and that your partner is Wild Bill Hickok. You see the light now, Jingles? So, now we'll get Hickok and put you both out of the way for good. All right, Duke. Get back to town and do what I told you to. Well, good morning, Mr. Hickok. We've been wondering about you. You've uh, found out who I am, Mr. Gregory. Sure. Uh, meet Mr. Pierpont, the governor's aide. He arrived here at the express office just a little while ago. It's a pleasure to meet you, Marshal Hickok. Thank you. The governor sent you down? That's right. When word reached Santa Fe about Baxter's death, the governor decided that I should come and offer a hand. Have you learned anything more? Nope. I searched Baxter's room at the hotel. It was stripped bare. Nothing left. And we haven't a shred of evidence pointing to the gang or its leader. Have you seen Jingles around, Mr. Gregory? Your partner? Why, no. He took a few diamonds around town last night to try to bring the gang out. I haven't seen him since. Well, who's this? Howdy, Mr. Gregory. My name's Duke. You know me. I've seen you around town. What do you want, Duke? I just found this bandana. Don't look so good. Let me see that. Got blood on it. Looks like a bullet hole. Thought somebody here at the express office might know whose it was. Where'd you find this, Duke? On the road south of town. You, you recognize it? Maybe. Can you take me to the spot? Well, sure. Glad to. All right, then. Let's get going. Well, what do you know? The trail leads right to this cliff dweller's village. Quiet, Duke. Take it careful from here on in. Yeah, I know what you mean. You think your partner's up there someplace? There's just one way to find out. Yeah. Sure got to hand it to you, the way you read trail signs. This ladder looks like the only way up. I'll keep right behind you. Right after you give me your gun. No, hold on. Don't you trust me, mister? I'm just naturally careful. Now, hand it over. Why, sure. Sure, here you are. I reckon I won't need it. All right. Come on. Of course, could go back and get help. There's no time for that. Take it easy now. Well, don't see nothing except that cave ahead. Let's have a look. Well, you gonna look inside? I'll decide that, Duke, when the time... Bill! Bill! That's Jingles. Out with your hand, senor. Huh? <laughs> I'll take my gun back now, Hickok, and yours in the bargain. Now, inside, Hickok, join your pal. Bill! <laughs> I wanted to warn you, but they had me tied up. Yeah, I know, Jingles. <laughs> but they was on to us right from the beginning. They trapped me. Trapped me, Bill, just like a hound dog trees a dumb possum. Looks like they got me too, partner. Well, just because they know you tried to save me. I got you into this. I ought to had more sense. What about the diamonds? They're all perfectly safe, Hickok. And in my hands. So now I believe that you know everything. Not quite all. 
Who are you working for, Romero? <laughs> that senor is information that you will never need. You want me to plug him now, Romero? No, no, no. Not yet, amigo. You see, I dislike killing. You give me a few seconds head start with these diamonds, and then you get rid of them. And seal up the cave. Yeah, so nobody will ever know. Gee, just see that you make it good now. All right, get over by the wall, Hickok. Right by Jingles. Whatever you say. Oh, give him a chance, Duke. Don't mind me, but just give him a fighting chance. <laughs> you think I'm low code? It's going to be some feather in my cap killing the great wild Bill Hickok. Yeah, it's too bad you can't tell anybody. Yeah, but I'll know. Well, Romero's far enough. Bill. Easy, Jingles. One more step. Like Romero said, I'm going to make this real good. Bill! Grab the gun! It's out of my reach! Maybe I don't need it! Get him, Bill! Get him! Stop him! Outside, Duke, where I can see. You'll see. Bill! Honey. Bill, the cliff! Watch the ledge! When it comes to making your hair stand on end with excitement, it's hard to beat Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. And take it from old Panhandle Jim, when it comes to eating, you can't do better than tasty Kellogg's Corn Pops. The kind that's already sweetened for you. And you partners know that vitamins and minerals in the things you eat are mighty good for you. Make you big and strong. Well, Kellogg's Corn Pops, delicious as they are, contain B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. And say, just wait till you taste the wonderful new sweetness and flavor of Corn Pops. The Kellogg's folks are now making them sweeter and crisper than ever before. So you're going to like them better than ever from here on. Now I'll bet my new boots on that. Yep, out of the box like candy or out of a bowl with milk. Eat all you want because they're always crisp and good. And that silver-like bag inside the box keeps Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mom can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches. Now, you know who loves Pops. Say it with me. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. <laughs> right, partners. Now, let's get back to Wild Bill and Jingles. Wild Bill found Jingles tied captive in an old Indian cliff dweller's cave, only to be trapped by one of the smuggling gang himself. But just as Duke raised the gun, Bill slapped it from his hand, and their fight led them outside to the rim of the ledge. The ledge! Bill, watch it! You're going over, Hiccup! Anyhow, one of us! Now, we'll get your ropes loose, Jingles. Woo-wee! Send him spread eagle right over that cliff. Only take a second. Well, you sure pulled his rattles. I declare I don't know why I ever worry about you, Bill. There. You think you can walk now? Well, the circulation is coming back. Then come on. Duke's lying at the bottom of the ladder. We'll get him, and then we're going after Romero. Yeah. Hey, he's got the diamonds, and if we can catch him, maybe we can still smoke out the leader of this gang. Keep down by this window, Jingles, where we can listen. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't you know it, Bill Romero? I could come right back into Alma Gorda to the Hondo house. The diamond's with him. The window's open. Maybe we can hear something. Quiet now. Keep down. Hot day, isn't it, Romero? Yes, yes, Senor Gregory. Well, I would like to express this package to my brother in Mexico. The address is under. Bill, did you hear that? Just the address we wanted. Yeah. To lead us to the international gang working across the border. Shh. Mm, of course, I'll have to look at the contents. Oh, si, senor, if you like. It's just some clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just clothes. Very well. Now, Jingles, in the front door. And it's about time. Well, what's going on? We'll take that package of clothes, Romero. Yeah, and when Bill says he's taking it, he's taking it. Just what is the meaning of this? Who are these men? Romero, for a smart feller, you sure got a bad memory. You should have looked deeper into this package, Mr. Gregory. Look what you'd have found. Diamonds? $50,000 worth. Why, 
I don't understand. Hmm. All headed for the border. Only we got them now, plus Duke and Romero and the address of the ring. <laughs> but there's one thing you haven't got. Get back, Jingles. Too late, Hickok. This gun's right in the middle of Jingles' back. Mr. Gregory, oh, well, what are you doing with the gun? <laughs> Is that so surprising for the head of our smuggling ring? You mean that Gregory, he's a... Oh, Bill, I did it again. Shuck off your holster, Hickok. If you want Jingles to live. He will do anything to save his friend. And now, your holster, Romero. M- mine? Why, oh, you no good double Make it quick. Your gang should get quite a laugh out of this. At least Gregory will. Gregory, I'll kill you! Yeah, miss, Gregory. Get Romero, Jingles. Got him! No hiccup. That'll learn you to turn your gun, Gregory. No, no. Got jelly in his bones, ain't he? <laughs> well, Jingles, looks like our job's all done. Oh, not yet it ain't. Come in, Mr. Pierpont. Mr. Hickok, what's going on? What is this? Just you make like you was nailed to the floor, Mr. Pierpont. I've got you covered more ways than sauerkraut lays in a barrel. What's... I don't understand. I think you do. Wait a minute, Jingles. Let's let Gregory settle the argument. That Gregory's said enough. No. Go on, Gregory, you can talk. Who tipped you we were coming to Almagordo? I, uh... You said Stan I, Baxter was your friend. How good a friend? Just for what he was worth to me. You suspected him, so you got into his confidence. Well, I guess that completes our report to the governor. Well, now, now, hold on. You mean it was Baxter who told you we was coming? Who we were? It, it wasn't Pierpont? Um, Pierpont's innocent. Huh. He didn't know nothing about it. Well, Mr. Hickok... Looks like you uh, didn't need me after all. You can make a report to the governor for us, Mr. Pierpont. You satisfied now, Jingles? Mm, sure, Bill. Well, it's just like I said. I mean that... Well, I... I'm almost sorry you don't know nothing, Mr. Pierpont. But sometimes I guess a feller's better off that way. I never know nothing, and I'm happy all the time. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Thanks for being with us today, folks. We'll be back this way again next week with another Wild Bill adventure story for you. Right, Guy. And all you hands better get your six guns loaded, because we're really heading for trouble. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at this same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Howard McNear, Joe Duvall, Stanley Waxman, Tony Barrett, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce. Music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Pops.